Good morning, Seminole Ridge. I'm Rachel Clark. Today is Thursday, April 23rd, and you're watching Hawk Headlines. This Tuesday, Missouri Attorney General Eric Schmidt announced that the state of Missouri will be suing the Chinese government as well as other top institutions. The case will be based on the role they've played in this global pandemic and the effects they've had on the state. As the pandemic continues, tourism here in West Palm Beach has come to a standstill. Revenue from hotels and other tourist-heavy locations has now slowed, and in turn has lost this multi-billion dollar county much-needed tax dollars. Plans such as the renovation of Roger Dean Stadium as well as other infrastructure investments are now being halted. The NFL draft starts tonight. Originally scheduled for Las Vegas, this year's draft will be completely remote, a first for teams front offices. With many colleges' pro days canceled due to COVID-19, Alabama quarterback Tua Tungavailoa is one of the biggest question marks in this year's draft, due to hip surgery in November and being unable to throw for scouts. Today's trivia question is, what was Kool-Aid originally marketed as? We'll have the answer later in the show. Due to COVID-19, many colleges across the nation have announced their summer terms will continue remotely. But what does this mean for many seniors beginning their first year of college in fall? Hawk Headlines reporter Jenna Kirchville shows us the many concerns students and parents share. With prom, graduation, and other monumental senior events canceled, many students worry about their college plans for 2020. Even though this year didn't really end the way we were hoping it would end, that in the fall we can have a clean slate and start our freshman years of college and begin enjoying that new chapter in our lives. Many excited seniors are devastated, wondering if they'll even be able to move on campus in the fall. Many parents are even upset seeing their children work so hard and not knowing if they will have a traditional college experience. And that they don't have to start college uh, online, but they can have the experience of moving into their dorms, starting the first day of classes and orientation at the college or university that they chose, and that life can hopefully get back to some semblance of normal for them after the disruption they've already had. As these unprecedented times make the future unclear, many high school seniors wonder how their college plans will be changed. For WSRH News, I'm Jenna Kirchadel. Attention seniors, with the recent announcement that we will be holding a virtual graduation ceremony, seniors are being asked to fill out a form in order to be recognized. This form is due May 1st and can be found through Google Classroom. If you have any questions, contact Dr. Campbell or Ms. Long. The Seminole Ridge Counseling Department is excited to host a Palm Beach State College Virtual Application Day. The event will take place next Monday, April 27th at 3 p.m. and will be held via Google Meet. While there are so many things being canceled right now, your yearbook is not. Our yearbook staff says they will have yearbooks for everyone who ordered before school closed, including seniors. There have been no word yet on when the books will arrive. Have you donated blood? You may be eligible for the One Blood Scholarship. Applications are now available digitally for the 2020 senior applicants. In order to be eligible, you must meet qualifications as well as join the Blood Drive Google Classroom. You have until May 15th to submit. The answer to today's trivia question, what was Kool-Aid originally marketed as, is Fruit Smack. Take a look at a creative and simple activity that will let you bring out your inner Van Gogh. Well, that's it for Hawk Headlines. I'm Rachel Clark. Don't forget to follow us and send submissions to us at Seminole Ridge TV on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Have a great day, Hawks.